Halifax recently, their very own sold-out show at the big room, the Halifax Metro Center. First of all, I should sure note that the uh, moose heads are, are, are practicing. <laughs> Halifax moose heads are practicing. <laughs> no, it's not going well for this season, but the prospects for the future are looking pretty good. This is pretty big. Yeah, this is huge, actually. It's bigger than I thought, actually. Uh, I thought that it would be smaller for some reason. But, uh, it's going to be like a miniature picnic. I suppose. An indoor picnic. Indoor picnic. Guaranteed not to be rained out. <laughs> well, when you were playing the lower deck in the olden days, did you know? Did it occur to you at some point that you'd be in this room? Is this Only to watch hockey. Yeah. Actually. I never thought we'd be in this room. We, were very we always wanted to be ambitious and try hard and, and, and be as big as we could be, but we never really thought it would really happen that we'd actually be here, so I don't know. Well, now that I'm you surprised. are. Now that you are, we're talking about the stage, you know, and look, you've got the big backdrop and all the fancy stuff. Yeah, it's oh, cool. It's cool. <laughs> <laughs> Have you really made any allowances over the years to, to changing to larger stages and stuff, or is it just basically the same old show, just a bigger room? Uh, Not the we're same doing lots show, of different but, you know. stuff, and, I mean, like different songs and stuff. I mean, the core of it, I mean, is essentially four of us with our little instruments singing songs. And, uh, you know, obviously you make allowances for trying to engage people who have to sit, you know, a long ways away, a lot further than you do in the back of the lower deck. We spent a lot of time thinking about it, actually, about trying to find something new to do at every show, and mm -hmm. something that's big enough to see from that far back, you know? And, uh, that's why we have the extra lights and the big backdrop and stuff like that. Mm. You know, it's, it's uh, taking it from the kitchen to the stadium is, is uh, it's a bit of a translation leap, I think, but uh, we managed to pull it off. just finished an uh, uh, extended run of Ontario dates, uh, not Toronto or Ottawa, but every, just about everything else, I think. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And most of them were actually uh, theater type shows, and, uh, uh, they, and the crowds were, were, were actually quite, uh, quite the, the, the whole tour sold out, and there was, uh, the, even though we were in theaters, the crowd's energy was uh, certainly with us. We enjoyed it immensely. The road has always been friendly to us for some reason. I guess, I mean, early on in the band, it was because we knew we had so many friends, you know, had been scattered across the country. But now it seems like every time we go back, we see some familiar faces. But then the crowd grows as well. So, I mean, anytime you're doing stuff and it feels like it's an accomplishment, it's, you know, you, you definitely don't mind doing it. And, uh, you know, they're guaranteed, like, driving around in Canada or just some big drives. But you know, we owe a lot to the people of Canada to let a Newfoundland folk band still be a Newfoundland folk band. Because mm -hmm. there's not many countries that where you could actually be as rootsy as we are and get away with it. We have just, uh, actually in January, we were in, we were in Germany. We, our first record up on Warner came out on cooking vinyl in uh, October of last year or so. There is one advantage to, if you're in the Canadian music business, there's one really great advantage for, to be from St. John's, Newfoundland, and that is we're four and a half hours from Heathrow, so we managed to dip in and out there un, unseen, uh, and we've done it like five times, and we've seen our audience grow and supported the record there, and it's all going very well. In January, we went over and spent a month in Germany with a band called the Oyster Band, which were great, great people. Fantastic. And hope to have them over in Canada with us soon. Uh, now, the summer, it looks like we've, we've got all these invitations for like these big festivals in Cambridge, England, Scotland. Uh, there's one big show in, in uh, Portugal and Lisbon for Denmark and stuff. Denmark. I don't even know. There's a bunch of New York, York London. The whole thing is blocked off. The Flower Festival's in New York. Right. Chicago. Uh, San Diego, every, everywhere. Mm -hmm. Petty Harbor. <laughs> so, uh, but what happens, I find, is that uh, once it, like, the record comes out in America, uh, in, on May 5th, so then we have to kind of reinvent ourselves or take a step backwards and do that show over right. there for a while and support it there. Meanwhile, it's already 
been supported to a certain extent in England, so we're gradually getting up to the, the level we're at here mm -hmm. in Canada. So you're always playing this mental game of which, which, where are we at now? <laughs> so we, we go back to the up record. Okay, right on. Yeah, yeah. Change your show. struggling well, folk band. Kind of odd, though, you know. It's actually quite refreshing. Uh -huh. Actually, we've learned. We thought it would be kind of odd and weird, and but it actually is great because you know we're touring a lot now and obviously playing a lot of stuff from the play record. That's you know quite popular in Canada and happy to do it. But you know you go over where the record isn't released yet in, in Europe. We're still touring the up record, so we're playing a lot of the stuff that we haven't played in about a year right. in Canada. So it's, it's kind of cool. It's kind of fun to uh, to be two or three bands in once. You know, so. It's like day Deja vu. Yeah, I know. It's like extreme deja vu. Yeah, this is the same mistake I made a year ago when I was playing this song. If you got it, sus, don't beat around the bush. If you got it, sus, run, run away. See chameleon nightmare in the sun. All things to everyone, run, run away. There is a. Uh point of no, no return to where, um, um, you know, you play so often that if, if, if you don't have this variety that we just spoke of, that it would get boring and it would get uh, tedious and stuff. But we're lucky to be able to play in different kinds of rooms, different festivals, or a pub here or a big show there that keeps it, you know, if we varied enough. Bar, if we just did bars and we're still doing bars, I think our interest would have waned, but the fact is we can come in and do these big shows and the picnics, outdoor festivals and in the theaters as well, mm -hmm. plus special events. So we never, every show we had to actually think about what we're going to do because we have to figure out what the room's going to need for us to do mm -hmm. and stuff. So we do spend a lot of time thinking about that. And that, that's, I think, part of what keeps us interested in doing it. Have you given any thought to the uh, picnic situation this year? Yeah, yeah we're definitely doing stuff. one here in Halifax, yeah. you know, mm -hmm. for sure. It's mm -hmm. uh, the first, I'm not sure about the exact date, but it's very early in September, the first week in September. It's at the same venue. And uh, there's all kinds of names being tossed around. I shouldn't even mention any right now because <laughs> it'll change a million times before it gets Great big C, most likely. <laughs> most likely it's going to be there. But uh, we're going to go and, and do it again on the hill and uh, hope for the weather to cooperate again, which it did last year and mm -hmm. last month, last which was great. Mm -hmm. And obviously you're very happy with the way this record's going. Uh, oh, it's amazing. It's, it's, our mind. it's not even a year old now, and it's, about, it's, it's double platinum, essentially. I think it's yeah. 199 plus one or something like that, yeah. but it's essentially double platinum. I mean, to do that in about 10 months, compared to, I mean, the up record is, I think, to be the God, double platinum as well, and it's, uh, what, two and a half years? Two and a half years. Two, well, it right. didn't go gold for till like 18 months yeah. or something, so it kind of oh, was a very God. slow, and you know, you met us for the first gig we did here, so yeah. it was kind of a slow... Uh, incline, but I think that's enabled us. To, the slower we went, it enabled us to react to things changing, because we're not that fast. You know? <laughs> so, easily distracted. Easily distracted. That's right. Well, uh, all the hard work's paying off, and you know, couldn't happen to a nicer bunch of guys. Cheers. Thank, Thank you, much.